I didn't write that last ticket for Credit Swiss wherever you sold it. Thank you. It's a year yet. I'm not going to put it in here. You're still on your feet. Get it. You're going to have to tell all this. Thank you. Unfortunately, the situation has only been exacerbated by the indecisiveness of the general election and the fact it's been apparent for about three or four days that we were going to have a hung parliament. I'm much more concerned about debt from a hung parliament, i.e. the gargantuan borrowing that is required by the UK government of £162 billion and over the next five years something in the region of £890 billion. They have to do something about it. <laughs> you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, and because we've seen a pullback in 1078, it doesn't mean it's really... Debt around the world, whether it's consumer, the likes of you and I, or governments, are at apoplectic levels and are thoroughly dangerous, and it's high time the world governments did something about it. Markets, even in Euroland, love to see clear pictures, absolute transparency. You would, to, you would like to see a clear winner in the national election in the UK. But right now, we don't know what will happen in the next couple of days and weeks. We all know that even the uh, UK have, is facing big problems, and uh, big problems need a big government. And right now, we have not such a big government. bien de même qu'en Angleterre, compte tenu d'un déficit budgétaire qui est significatif, s'il y a un problème et une défaillance d'une brèche politique, ça posera des problèmes. Donc il est important que l'Angleterre trouve rapidement le chemin d'une volonté politique forte et d'un discours politique fort.